Well, hello again. Welcome back to Better Living Concepts Book Club Series. My name is Ryan. This is my wife, Janine, and we are uh, in the process of going through David Wolf's book, The Sun Food Diet Success System. This episode, we are on Lesson 28, which is simply called Questions Are Answers. An intriguing title, to mm -hmm. be sure. Uh, so without further ado, let's jump right into the reading. It's super short, probably the shortest lesson of the book, but packs a punch for sure. So we'll see you on the other side. Lesson 28. Questions are answers. It is amazing what one can receive simply by asking for it. Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth. And to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. Matthew 7, 7 and 8. How do you get whatever you want? Ask. Ask yourself or others. Ask your superconscious mind. Ask specifically. Ask with emotion. Asking creates possibilities. Asking questions is how you change your own focus and the focus of others. If you ask for a dollar, you will receive a dollar. If you ask for the highest joy possible, you will get that too. The challenge is not to find the right answers, but to find the right questions. Depending on how you ask the question, you get a more empowering answer. Richard Bach wrote in Illusions, Isn't it strange how much we know if only we ask ourselves instead of somebody else? Between your ears lies the most incredible computer on earth. When you ask your brain specific empowering questions, it will, every time, come up with precise answers. By asking your brain questions, you are able to tap infinite intelligence, the inner net, which consists of all knowledge, past, present, and future. Years ago, I gave a health seminar to a corporate group. Afterwards, when people congregated around me, a young gentleman approached and asked a most potent yet succinct question. To this man's question, I gave a poignant answer, although at the time, I didn't realize its profoundness. I still often think about the answer to that question. In reference to the world's challenges, he asked, So what is the solution to all this craziness? I stood there a moment and replied, Grow your own food. When a question is asked, the answer will make its appearance. Stop for a moment and look around you. The world is filled with overflowing abundance. All you have to do is have the courage to ask for your share of the infinite. Do you remember the song? When you wish upon a star makes no difference who you are. Like a bird out of the blue, your dreams come true. Manifest your wonderful wishes by asking for them. Why do people not ask for what they want? Because of the fear of rejection. Always remember, rejection is never final. Fear is conquered by acts of raw courage. If you ask for anything in the world with enough commitment, courage, desire, and persistence, you will get it. In their wonderful book of the same title, Mark Victor Hansen and Jack Canfield call this principle the Aladdin Factor. Everyone who asks receives. It is decreed by cosmic law. Action Steps Questions are Answers 1. Ask yourself the following questions daily. 2. What specific actions can I make today to powerfully increase my energy levels? 3. How can I attain a state of health perfection while enjoying the process? 4. What can I enjoy doing that will greatly increase the beauty of the world and which is in harmony with my purpose for being on earth? 5. How surprised would I be to discover incredible abundance in my life? 6. How can I improve the value of life for everyone I encounter each day? When you feel moved, write down the answers to these questions in your journal. Whew. <laughs> Short and sweet and powerful.
powerful. Yes. Yeah, this is such a great follow-up to the last lesson. I was just thinking that. Yeah, really kind of connected. Yeah. Ask yourself the super conscious mind. Ask your super conscious mind, yes. which you get yes. from Lesson 27. Yes. Okay. It is amazing what one can receive simply by asking for it. Boom. That's his sentence, yes. opening sentence. Yeah. And of course, then the scripture, Matthew 7, 7 to 8, ask and it shall be given to you. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and it shall be opened to you for everyone that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth, and to him that knocketh it shall be opened. What a promise. Yes, and you know, there's another um, version of that. Mm -hmm. If you look at the complete Jewish Bible version, um, it says to keep knocking, uh, right? Um, keep asking, keep knocking. Um, okay. And so there's this idea that... Persistence. Persistence, exactly. You just keep doing it. It's not a one-time thing. You don't ask and eventually it'll come to you, right? Have you have to, you have to, and so I think ultimately that's what the original text mm -hmm. implied. Okay, yes, yeah, so I think he follows it up with a with a parable of somebody who's pretty much persistent begging yes. yeah. and um, almost being a pain about it, but that they get what they want because they have been persistent. That's right. Okay, how do you get whatever you want? Ask, ask yourself, others, ask your super conscious mind, yes. ask specifically, ask with emotion. Asking creates possibilities. Mm. Asking questions is how you change your focus. And the focus of others. Yes, that is true. Right, because when you're asked a question, your mind goes immediately to, to trying that topic. to find the answer. Yeah, that's right. So even though you may not have been thinking about it, yes. somebody asks you a question. That's right. You know, so let, think of yourself in a board meeting of some sort. That's you right. Know, somebody brings, brings up a topic, boom, let's all try to. Yeah, or even us on a commute, right? If we're yes. going, and then one of us things of a question or and mm -hmm. we ask it it's like that's where the conversation goes that's right and look at how much can be changed because of that dialogue interesting yes this person has an idea about it the other person you know what that makes me think what? of that makes me think of the butterfly on the other side of the world mm -hmm. how it can impact and create a tornado over here or something like that by question yeah okay um if you ask for the highest joy possible you'll get that too Mm -hmm. The challenge is not to find the right answers, but to find the right questions. That's it. Depending on how you ask the question, you get a more empowering answer. Oh my goodness. So that might be something to actually <sighs> Think about this ruin it on. You know, I mean, yeah, I mean, it, you get quiet and you get silent, mm -hmm. and then you begin to ask. Uh, you begin to formulate questions in a different way. Yeah, I'm thinking about this for business. No question. Right? If you start asking the questions, wow. Especially as you're developing your business plan, mm -hmm. right? Yes, very true. You asking the right questions will impact um, how successful you are, how quickly you become successful, or, yeah. or whether or not you'll actually uh, fail after a year or two. Yes. You know, it's kind of like it's kind of like doing um, investing in real estate. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to ask the right questions up front, That's which means true. you have to you have to get into the deal knowing what, you know, is oh is going to be at the end and what your exit strategy is going to be. You have to ask the right questions. That's right. In order for you to create a contract with a seller or a buyer that will will create the ultimate outcome. That's true. I mean, the seller's disclosure, it's all questions, right? When you ask the right questions, I mean, look at how many situations that we've seen with people or other brokers that didn't ask the right questions. That's right. If you don't ask it, things can lay dormant. Things yes. can not be disclosed because you didn't ask the right question. You know what's interesting? What? Is that they are always exposed. Yes. So if you don't know yes. about it, like mm -hmm. like if we're working with a client mm -hmm. and they are trying to hide something, mm -hmm. it will be exposed through that mm -hmm. process. Mm -hmm. It must. Yeah. And that will blow up in somebody's face. Wow. If it's yes. not. If it's not. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So. So interesting. Yeah. How that kind of trans Translates. transfers over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Back to BLC. <laughs> okay. Between your. Ears. Well, actually, first of all, he mentions a couple books in this little chapter. There's Richard Bach, Illusions. Mm -hmm. 
and toward the end he's going to talk about um, Victor Hansen and Jack Hanfield's The Aladdin Factor. So um, I don't think that we've got either one of those books. I think you're right. We may want to look into those. For sure. But between your ears lies the most incredible computer on earth. When you ask your brain specific empowering questions, it will every time come up with precise answers. By asking your brain questions, you're able to tap infinite intelligence. Okay, I love this world, this word, the inner net. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Which consists of all knowledge, past, present, and future. Mm hmm. The inner net. So basically, anything that's ever happened in history is stored in this thing. In which, this tapestry of. Which your mind is a part of. Yes. Yes. So. You can f get answers to things that you have never experienced personally. You That's have right. no personal knowledge of. Right. Can be revealed to you. That's right. Revelation. Wow. Yes. And then he talks about going to that seminar where the guy asked him a question and he came up with the answer. Grow your own food. You know, kind of going back to that last statement about yeah. being about the internet. Yeah. I've heard a lot of people using lately the word understand. Ooh. Have you heard that? Mm -mm. I've heard quite a few people that are, you know, content creators talking about understanding as opposed to understanding. Oh. And the connotations of being under versus inner. Oh. Interesting. Yeah. So I thought, you know. Yes. To, Inside. To, to yeah. understand something. Yes. When a question is asked, the answer will make its appearance. Stop for a moment, look around you. The world is filled with overflowing abundance. All you have to do is have the courage to ask for your share of the infinite. Uh, courage. Do you, do you consider that um, I, I guess I'm, I'm I, it's so easy to not consider the idea of courage mm -hmm. when you're asking a question. Um, but if you're really seeking the depth of knowledge, mm -hmm. it takes some courage to actually contemplate the right an the right question, mm -hmm. right? Because you may not like the answer ultimately, and so you have to you have to mm -hmm. put yourself in that place. So it's interesting because I was writing something um, yesterday. Actually, I was working on a writing project, and I was. The word non-assertive came up, hmm. um, and I was trying to find. An, I was I was looking up the definition of of that, and then I was thinking, is it aggressive? Like not aggressive? I'm looking for, but I was kind of tr trying to circle around the meaning of is non is the person who is non-assertive is that a good thing or a bad thing? Hmm. Right? Because it may be considered politeness if you're not assertive. But this is inferring, okay, but non-assertiveness can also mean you're not, you're not looking out for your own interests. It can mean that you're afraid. Mm. There could be a lot of things connected with that. So interestingly enough, he's, he's basically saying that this lack of ability to ask is, is fear-filled. Fear Why do people not ask for what they want? They fear rejection. Mm. Always remember, rejection is never final. Fear is conquered by acts of raw courage. So yeah, if a person is not assertive, it may be because they're afraid. It's more more than likely they're afraid of rejection. Right. But he's saying here, have the courage to ask. Mm. Right? Mm. So when you wish upon a star it makes no difference mm. who you are. Like a bird out of the blue, your dream comes true. Yeah. Mm. All you have to do, he says, is have the courage to ask for your share of the infinite. Yep. Which is not necessarily polite and standing back. Right. It's going to be... Please, sir, some more, right? <laughs> like all of it. Right? Asking. Yeah. Um, yeah. If you ask for anything in the world with enough commitment, courage, desire, and persistence, you will get it. Mm. In their wonderful book of the same title, Mark Victor Hansen and Jack Canfield call this principle the Aladdin factor. Everyone who asks receives. It is decreed by cosmic law. Oh my gosh. Yes. 
Cosmic Law. Decreed. That's a powerful statement. You could write a book on that. Yeah. I mean, I'm thinking so much of what Jesus said is, I mean, that was really, it was almost like the gist of his messages, right? Yeah. Almost every one of his parables, it's, it's about asking. Yeah. Faith. Mm. Belief. Mm-hmm. Um, so interesting that we've come to this place in the book. You know, we talked about some of the, the physical elements, and now he's really moving into this powerful mind center. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. And he kind of started out the book that way, yes, too. Yes, that's true. He absolutely right? so does. So we're kind of return, yes, returning to some of does. those uh, other... I guess to some degree he's never left it. We've just talked about more matter-based yes, things yes. Than, than consciousness. The actual how-tos yeah. and whatnot. Yeah. All right. Questions are answers. Yes, they are. Ask yourself the qual- following questions daily. Mm. What specific actions can I make today to powerfully increase my energy levels? Mm. That's big. You know, it's like it's like being intentional. Like they, you know, how many times have we heard, you know, start your week uh, like say maybe Sunday night mm-hmm. or something. You're planning your week, and you're being intentional about scheduling, right? Mm-hmm. Well, this is kind of like that. You know, you're you need to schedule in, if you will, the idea of in, of of asking yourself that question. So I kind of do this with home and heart. Right. Right. That that's kind of the core of what I'm doing there. Mm-hmm. Um, it's powerfully increased by energy levels, by vibration, mm-hmm. really. That's right. Um, but what specific actions can I take today to power? Yeah, I mean, I have my system with each day has its own thing. Sure. Um, but to ask yourself, what can I do today to increase my energy level? Um, yeah, and there's a that's a question. Yeah. How can I attain a state of health perfection while enjoying the process? Mm-hmm. What can I enjoy doing that will greatly increase the beauty of the world and which is in harmony mm-hmm. with my purpose for being on earth? Yeah, boy, this is a lot of home and heart stuff. Yeah. <laughs> um, how surprised would I be to discover incredible abundance in my life? Mm-hmm. <laughs> how surprised. Yes. Mm. And, you know, then you have to identify or define what is incredible abundance. That might be different for everybody, mm-hmm. right? And so, your limiting beliefs may limit the abundance that you receive. Yes. You know, you may be thinking, "I can get to here," when in reality, you could get. Mm-hmm. You know, so huge. So, limiting beliefs plays a role yes. in that. How can I improve the value of life for everyone I encounter each day? Well, that's at the heart of a lot of what we are yes, trying to do. Yes, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When you feel moved, write down the answers to these questions in your journal. Amen. Yeah. Boy, these are two great chapters. Yeah. Great and then we didn't read this, the questions are no. answers poem. Oh, uh, should I read it? You want to read it real quick? Okay. Ask yourself questions that uplift and empower. Ask your brain questions and answers will soon flower. How do you tap into all that you've learned, all that you've seen, every page you've turned? Hmm. It's all still recorded in your subconscious mind. It's all still there, but difficult to find. Hmm. Ask yourself questions, specific and distinct. Draw out ideas from your deepest memory link. No open loop questions like, why does this happen to me? What kind of questions, no, what kind of answers would you expect to receive? An answer comes at will if the question is asked right. An answer written down will help you sleep at night. Mm. Answer with a question, no problem is unsolved. Asking empowering questions is how your brain evolved. Questions are the answer to all life's maladies. The wisdom of your body is in your memories. Hmm. Powerful. Yeah. I love his poems. Yeah. He's good. good. Okay. Let's get, yeah. we gotta get busy. Get to work. <laughs> what was that? One? Asking questions. I think what the question is right now. So, if the question is asked right, 
an answer written down will let you sleep at night. Mm -hmm. So what that's doing is that's taking it out of yourself, uh -huh. right? And it's putting it on paper. So now yes. you can, now you feel confident you can come back to it. Yes. You know, you don't have to mull yes. it over and, yes. you know, whatnot while you're trying to actually fall yeah. asleep. So yeah. write things down, get yeah. them, get them out of yourself. Yeah. I think that's powerful too. Mm -hmm. Powerful message. So, all right. Uh, so that concludes lesson 28. Mm -hmm. um, the shortest lesson, but you know, he's very good. He is what he is. He does what he does. So, lesson 29 is the law of attraction. And uh, we've all heard uh, a lot about that over the years, I'm sure. But uh, I'm sure he'll bring to it his own. Little twists that will be interesting. So, lesson 29, the law of attraction, is up next. Thank you again for joining us for this episode. Uh, we hope you found some value and uh, something you can take with you uh, as we move towards the. Uh,